organizations and projects are driven by people. Highly motivated individuals or teams have higher performance. So, it is utmost important to keep the teams or individuals stay motivated for achieving higher performance and retention of interest. In this video, let us look at the essence of motivation, extracted from most popular theories of motivation like Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, Herzberg's Hygiene and Motivational Factors, Daniel Pink's Intrinsic and Extrinsic Motivation Factors, David McClellan's Theory of Needs, Mac Greger's Theory X, Theory Y, and William Alkey's Theory Z. Let us understand Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Maslow's theory is based on the human psychological behavior, which suggests that individuals are motivated by the desire to fulfill certain basic needs before progressing to next level of needs. American psychologist Abraham Maslow described the human needs in a hierarchical manner in the form of a pyramid. The first stage of the pyramid is the physiological needs, which serves as the basic need. It includes fresh air, pure water, sufficient food, comfortable living and working conditions, clothing, shelter, clean toilets etc. with our basic essentials for a human being. Once the physiological needs are satisfied, the safety of an individual is essential. Every individual should be safe at work, at home and any other place of transit and this needs to be satisfied. Safety includes physical safety, health, financial security, once the physiological and safety needs are met, an individual looks at sense of belongingness, which is love and social needs. In the absence of love or belongingness a person can get into anxiety and depression. The basic and safety needs are easy to handle. Interpersonal issues are delicate to be handled as they can occur at work or at one's personal life. An individual performs best when the sense of belongingness and love is present both at work and in personal life. It is important to note that an individual performance affects the overall team performance. Once the basic, safety and social needs are met, the next level is esteem. Esteem is respect and admiration of a person which includes self-respect and respect from others. This can be achieved by emotional intelligence or being a servant leader. As the individual fulfills the hierarchy of needs, performance or motivation levels are at the highest. Once a person achieved all the levels of the hierarchy, it is called a self-actualization. At this stage an individual satisfied all the needs and often helps others to stay motivated. It is important to note that the movement from basic to self-actualization may be upwards or downwards, depending on the situation. It's important to note that not everyone reaches the stage of self-actualization, and individuals may fluctuate between different levels of the hierarchy throughout their lives. It should always be ensured that there is a movement from lowest levels to the highest level to stay motivated. This is a combined responsibility of the individual and the organization or the leader. Now let's delve into Herzberg's hygiene and motivational factors in comparison with Maslow's theory. This theory is based on Herzberg's study of motivational factors at work. According to this study, hygiene factors, if insufficient cause dissatisfaction, dot. if they are sufficient it ensures there is no dissatisfaction, however does not lead to satisfaction. It means hygiene factors are required to reduce dissatisfaction. On the other hand, sufficient motivation factors lead to satisfaction and insufficient motivation factors can lead to dissatisfaction. Hygiene factors can be company policies, salary, physical environment, etc. Motivation factors can be work achievement, growth and advancement in career. On the same lines, let us analyze the intrinsic and extrinsic motivation factors suggested by Daniel Pink. It suggests, extrinsic factors, such as rewards and salary, are motivators, to certain extent. Intrinsic factors on the other hand, like autonomy, mastery, and purpose, which are long-lasting and effective. Autonomy is the desire to direct one's own life. Examples, flexible work hours, remote working, self-managing. Mastery is about being able to improve and excel, self-development. Purpose is to understand the vision and contribute to be part of the journey towards achieving goals. Intrinsic motivation comes from within and involves personal satisfaction. Extrinsic motivation involves external rewards or consequences. 
Balancing both types of motivation is crucial for sustained success. David McClellan's theory of needs suggests that the people are driven by the needs of achievement, power, and affiliation. Individuals at work are motivated by achievement when the work is challenging and they achieve goals. Power enables individuals to be motivated by increased responsibility. Affiliation provides a sense of belonging. Now let us look at the theory X and theory Y, proposed by Douglas MacGregor. This theory categorizes individuals into three types. Theory X is based on an assumption that an individual is not ambitious and avoids responsibility. Management approach suitable for this kind of behavior can be rewards and punishment, motivational factor is extrinsic. Theory Y assumes individuals are intrinsically motivated. Management style encourages creativity and discussion. William Aukey's version of Theory Z focuses on motivating employees by providing job safety where the focus is on the well-being of the employee and their families. This provides high productivity, morale, and satisfaction. Conclusion These theories collectively contribute to our understanding of motivation, offering similar perspectives on the factors that drive behavior and satisfaction in various settings. When applied strategically, these models can guide leaders and managers in creating environments that foster motivation and enhance performance. Thank you for watching the video. Please share your feedback in the comments section. If you liked the video and would like to see more on the concepts of project management, request you to please like and subscribe. We'll be back with much more interesting and improvised content soon.